guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is nine o'clock on a Sunday, which means it's time for a review show special. Uh, this is where I take a deep dive into a particular trick, a particular subject, a particular product, a particular creator. And today we are going to be looking at my friend Lloyd Barnes' new app, Maxim. Now, uh, I want to I want to tell you right up front. I want to tell you right up front. Lloyd is one of my best friends in the whole world. And it's very difficult to not be biased when you're reviewing somebody you're close to when you're reviewing their item. However, I, I am going to be completely unbiased. And uh, I will tell you right now, I've been lucky enough to have uh, Maxim now for probably about six or seven months. So it's something I've been using for a long time. It's something that I've been gigging with for a long time. And as a result of that, I kind of know the system inside out and back to front. Uh, and, and there's not many people that have worked Maxim in a real world as much as me. So I feel like I can really shed some light on, on how good this app is. And I'll tell you right now, I do think it's very, very good. However, before we start, I want to play you an interview that I did with Lloyd Barnes. So Lloyd uh, did an interview with me recently, and um, it's an interview all about Maxim. I asked him all about it, where it came from, um, what you can do with it, the possibilities. Uh, we went through absolutely everything. So I'm going to play that interview with Lloyd first. And then once I've played the interview, we'll, uh, we'll talk about, um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go into a full review. So let's have a look at that interview right now. So here I am with the living legend himself, one of the most creative people on the planet. Yes, you are. Don't lie. The one and only Lloyd Barnes. How are you doing, Lloyd? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm super excited to be sitting down with you to talk about another Lloyd Barnes project. I mean, <laughs> damn, since I started... <laughs> Third TV, one in every... two or three years or something. Wow, man. I mean, you don't bring it. You don't bring that much stuff out, but when you do... It hits and it hits hard. I mean, I told everybody who listened how much I thought Cognito was amazing, app of the year. I told everybody who would listen how much I love Lux. And we're going to listen, we're going to switch that off. It's true professionalism here on Magic TV. I, I, was, I was just going to say, actually, I love that we put our interview voices on. Yeah. <laughs> we talk all day, every day on the phone. And it's like, hello, Craig, nice to meet you. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's not BS any BSs. <laughs> yeah, we can switch to the podcast voice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> you, you, you've nailed it again, though, haven't you? You have nailed it again. I mean, we're doing this interview the day after it got released. Mm -hmm. And what is it? It's like number one uh, everywhere. Like I check, you know, like everywhere. Vanishing Ink of just like. Uh, it's, it's, it not, it's not on Penguin Magic yet. Um, oh, I th I maybe the physical copy, but the digital download's not on there yet. Um, I think they're trying to work with us to implement the code to deliver it. But yeah, it's number one on Vanishing Inc. And I don't know. I, I, um, to be honest, this is the, the first time that I haven't really kept up to date with just like how crazy it's selling. It's just, it's just a little bit like overwhelming. And for the first time ever, I'm, I'm taking a bit more of a like a chilled out approach to it. <laughs> Well, you haven't really hyped it this time, have you? You kind of no openly said about a month or two ago, mm -hmm. this is what it is, this is what it does. Full disclosure, this is everything that you need to know. It'll be released when it's released. Yeah, well, this, the thing, this is the thing. With, with Lux and Cognito, there was, there, was, there was a campaign for it, which sort of exploded and got bigger than we'd intended. And then that felt like it was too much hype. And I didn't like how big that got. But we also had to keep... Lux and Cognito secret up until release date because I've firsthand experienced multiple times people seeing my I, I talked too early about one of my ideas somebody takes it rips it off sells it as their own and because what we were doing with Cognito was so revolutionary and with Lux that we knew that would be the case so we wanted everyone to be excited about it because I was so proud and we wanted everyone to experience it for the first time live at the same time um, but with but, we, but I learned from that as well that, that also look when it's when it's a you know objectively a good product that's not been done before and there's hype then that can turn into a bit of a monster. So with in the case of Maxim, I figured that this isn't one of those tricks which is going to be a magician fooler. I mean, magicians are fooled by it. Like some magicians are fooled by it, some are not. A lot of people don't realize it's even an app at play. Um, which is which is essentially the, the main thing about this. And because it wasn't a magician fool, I thought I'd take a completely different approach to what I've pretty much, 
I can't think of anything I've seen done this way, which is basically to anti-hype it. So yeah, two months ago, I not only did I tell everyone I had a new app come in, I told them what the app is. Then I told everyone exactly what effect you can do you can do with it because I never did that with Cognito or Lux. Um, and I, at the same time, I fully exposed how it works because I thought, well, you can't complain about it a hype campaign or secretive, you know, myster- mysterious buildup. If you know exactly every single, I did a two hour live stream and just showed everyone everything about it. So I figured then, well, that's one thing that's out of my hands. And also then I realized it helps people make an informed decision on the day of release. So they don't rush and try and panic buy and then they buy it and they didn't really understand what it was. And then they feel ripped off because they bought into the hype. So I thought, well, you know what, this is it. This is exactly what it is. Um, we're, and I told everyone the release dates, we were aiming for the end of June. And then that got pushed back basically to the uh, 2nd of August. Um, but because we were just open about everything, then it can't come around to bite me in the ass. Although one commenter said they were sick of the hype of this. What? And then a bunch of people jumped on and was like, I don't think you understand what that word means, me. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so it was a different approach. Um, uh, the thing about it is, the, re- and the big reason is that this is a real powerhouse worker. And I yeah. never intended to fool any magicians with this. This is, has in no way, shape or form. I remember seeing you at the session, going around showing people this and big names. And they weren't being fooled by it, but what they were was like, they were wanting it there and then because they saw the power of what this could possibly achieve. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's it, and it's a rarity for me. Most of the stuff I put out, uh, is, most stuff I put out, like it, it's it's hard to describe. But I focus more on being creative or doing something different, but also like making it practical. But in, in the case of this, I threw all that out the window and went just purely, purely, purely one hundred percent for effect which is, you know, the outcome of the effect or the experience of the, of the lay person, which I, I've not often done that before. Um, so it's a bit of, de- of a departure for me. But yeah, so I figured with that in mind, it's not intended to be a magician fool. I know a lot of magicians do get fooled by it when they see it performed and things. Um, but even in the first video, the very first time I ever showed the trick online, 30 seconds later, I'm like, oh, this is how it works. Don't worry. Like, it's not, I'm not trying to fool you. We're not trying to pull any wool over your eyes. This is what it is. And yeah, I don't know. It's pretty cool. I, I like, I think it's fun. I've never seen an app before, or I can't think of an app. I'm, I'm sure there are them, but it's very rare to see an app where it doesn't even feel like your phone's in play. Like normally the app is central to that, like Cognito. They're having to scroll on the app to look at the photos. Pretty much every app involves your phone or their phone. Yeah. In this particular trick, the phone isn't even part of a trick. It just happens to be there. But yeah. it's not part of a trick. And that's a very strange approach to app-based magic. There's a lot of people that don't like apps because, oh, you know, whatever the reason. This is this is a way of using an app without even needing to have the spectators or the audience of where there's even a phone in play. <laughs> well, yeah, so th- I think there is other apps out. There are other apps out there that are not, a part of the effect per se, but they just aid you in, in achieving the magic. But there are so many apps out there where the where <clears throat> like for example, where if anything where like you animate something on your phone screen and the audience is expected to believe that's magic. That's like the worst ex- example of app magic. Like that's the bottom tier of it. And then you get apps where, like you said with Cognito, where for me that is a good approach because the the phone is used as the vehicle to get to the end point. And it's not, it, it's not appy because they just think they're going through photos, right? They're just going through their phone, the photos on your phone. So it's not app feeling, not it doesn't feel happy and they don't feel like they're giving anything away. And then this is a further step back where basically this, I didn't develop this to not be in play. I developed, this is a second brain. This is bas- basically what, what Maxim is. It gives you, it gives you like Rain Man's brain with the best jazz magician's brain in the world combined. And yeah, and then just with the certain approaches that it takes to it, 
I was really like proud of some of the inputs that we come up with. Like there's, there's one input for the text messages. I spent so I spent so many years thinking of all these really creative ways to secretly input cards and things into your phone. So like, you know, if somebody named like a four hearts, you then go onto your phone and you type in a pin code or you swipe this, that, and the other, trying to be covert. And then one day I was, I was like performing and I was like, I, and I realized that everyone, the, the most normal thing that happens, the most forgettable thing that, one of the most normal things that happens in everyday, day-to-day life all over the world is getting a, t- a text, checking your phone for a text. Your phone's went off. Yeah. Yeah, your phone's went off, right? In the middle of an interview. Not really a weird thing to happen these days. And this is an interview, let alone in a real world, in the real world. And so I, I th- figured, scrap all these over, you know, overcomplicated, silly inputs that you have to remember systems and everything. One of the things is that I realized that I could just have the text sound go off on my phone after like 30 seconds. So whilst I'm performing, you know, whatever time I want, my phone goes bing, just like yours did. Like, oh, sorry, let me just mute that. And as you do that, just input the card. And I was like, oh my God, why? That's that's the only way I should ever be doing this. And then we have the timer method, which George came up with at Murphy's, which is to, to implement, like, I'm going to time you as you shuffle the cards. And again, the, the disconnect between that, like that, just because you timed them shuffling cards, doesn't mean you should know that if they spell to their, 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 their if you count to their date of birth, the card that they freely named is going to be there in the deck that they shuffle. Like it's just the disconnect, it's massive. Um, so yeah, it's basically like having a brain or a, a, or twenty brains combined together in your pocket that you could just that each one, you know, at your back and call will give you the perfect and best piece of information you need to, to achieve the effect. That's amazing. <laughs> That's so cool. And one thing that I've seen online that people are saying is, oh, I can't do it because I'm not a Memdeck user. Although this is an incredibly powerful tool for someone who does use a Memdeck, you yeah. don't have to be a Memdeck user to do this. Like, no, to be no. clear. No, yeah, yeah. 100% zero memory work whatsoever you can put any stack in the world any language in the world although we are finding there's certain languages for example like hebrew which is written back to front so there's certain caveats to that so we are working with certain languages to like we i think we have the hebrew language up and running now but certain languages don't work in the same sort of syntax that that most languages do so we are just like fine-tuning um, of course day one as with every single app in the world bugs so we've got some bug reports coming through but josh riley the developer is smashing them out so um he just put a really exciting update out which just has just been approved by apple uh by the time this video goes live it'll already be live on everyone's phone anyway with android um but it's an it's a system that allows him to do instant updates so instead of having to when you when you update an app you have to submit it each time and then the and then apple can take a day two days three days same with android or can take an hour or two to, to approve it and then it goes worldwide the new system that we have in place means that literally if josh pressed the full stop button on the end of a word on the screen, that full stop would appear on people's phones, essentially. So wow. it's this amazing system. So basically, we'll have, and we're not the first people to do this, but it's just saying in the case of Maxim, um, our bug squashing will be as fast as, as, literally as fast as Josh can do it, which is pretty damn fast. So yeah, so it's really exciting. But um, yeah, I've been really chilled with this app release. Like with Cognito, it was my first app release with Murphy's as a wholesale app, which is such a different beast. It was such a unique mountain to tackle to wholesale an app. Um, this time around though, we've learned some things, always some hiccups because it's apps and coding, which is just not, you know, it, I don't understand that that world. I, I, I create the stuff, but I can't design it. Um, but on the whole, just like a super chilled, successful launch. Um, and I'm really yeah proud of it. I don't know, I'm just, <laughs> just super happy. How did I really? go from stacks to that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm... I'm stacks really languages, happy. they're not, yeah. <laughs> one last question about it, because I think that one of the features that I don't think people realize is so powerful is the ability to create po- profiles for as many people as you want. Yes. That's just yeah. such a huge thing. Um, yeah. I, I, I Like, just such a huge thing that... You can create, for those people that don't know, you can create profiles within the app, as many app, uh, profiles as you want to, so that if you are performing to those people and the system hits, which it will do an awful lot, you are immediately in a, in a position where you can make it really personal for them when you're doing sort of the ACAN effect or the jazzing effect. That's just yeah. brilliant. That well, I'll, yeah, Alex, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I, I explain to people 
because I, I realize some people might be watching this and don't even know what the trick is. So the very core of the effect is that you can hand someone a deck and they shuffle it. And I'm saying air quotes because they mix it like this behind their back. And it's all taught about how you can explain them. I say to people, I want you to take the deck and I want you to um, shuffle it like this, but behind your back, all right? And they go, uh... And they go, I just keep it simple, shuffle it just by cutting and completing it, but do it behind your back. That way you're not going to drop the cards. I don't expect you to be a pro. They just seen you shuffle the deck properly and then they're going to mix it, you know. So in their head, it's all okay. Or you don't have to shuffle it at all. Say so this deck is in a box. It's never going to be touched. Exactly what you say will happen. So either way, a shuffled deck, either by the audience or not shuffled deck for the audience, is, in, is behind their back or under the table. They name any card in the deck and um, then you will tell them, for example, to it says it's, it's it's the fourth of August today. Four and eight count down four for the fourth count down eight, and their card will be exactly there. Or or it'll say you name the five of hearts spell the five of hearts, and the, the five of hearts will be exactly there. Or it could say, um, uh, for example, it's thirty eight minutes past the hour. Count down thirty eight for the minutes, and their card will be there. So basically, outs. For cards, and because what's secretly happening is that your in the, your input in the, the bottom or top cards, depending on what you choose, into Maxim, and then you input the card they name. It'll calibrate the whole deck, and it'll work out the position of every card, and it'll work out outs like spell the card or the or, the, or for example the time because it takes into consideration the date and the actual current time, things like that. Or it'll tell you to spell um, the word magic, and it'll be there, right? And so, always, so basically you have this way to shuffle a deck, uh, have any card named, and you will always have the most powerful out instantly at your hands. And some people might think that's not necessary. So I, I can do that. But if you, ever, if you ever try to do a mnemonic, any card, any number, where someone names a card, names a number, and then you have to work out how many cards, for example, to cut, you see even the, you see people just magicians, importantly, you see them just switch off, right? Even the best ones. Uh, when, when you're trying to do, if you try to see people trying to jazz from a, from like, the, you know, the decks, they name a card, I don't know, seven of spades, and they think, well, what, what's the out for the 37th position? Da, 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 da. You switch off. Maxim exists to, to allow you to do that, get those results. With, you don't even have to think. It just tells you, oh, spell their name. So that's, that, that's the reason for it. That's what it does, right? And the other thing is when you're also then cutting and completing and recalibrating the deck, Every card's now in a new position. So if you know the mnemonic like the back of your hand, but then I cut the king of clubs to the face and I name the four of spades, tell me instantly three different outs. You could probably work it out in 10 minutes, maybe, or maybe if you're really good, you could work it out in 30 seconds, right? Three different outs. Maxim just tells it to you instantly up to, up to three different outs for any card named in, in, in a newly ordered deck. The profiles come into it when basically your name's Craig, right? By knowing your name, just your name only, I go into the phone, I type in new profile, Craig. That now gives me four brand new outs because your name, C-R-A-I-G, can reveal the, uh, the fifth card down or the sixth card down from the top or the bottom. So just by knowing someone's name, I now have potentially four new outs. So if the card they name when the deck's finished being shuffled happens to be fifth or sixth from the top or the bottom, I now have four chances out of 52 to get it. Your surname's Petty. That means I have another four options. Craig Petty. If, if, your, if your surname was longer than your forename, I would have then, they could either be Craig or Petty, which is four, uh, eight, and Craig Petty as one, that's another four. That's 12 out of 52 positions in a deck. And that's 12 chances to get an out with your name, with a freely named card in the deck. Then if I know any other information about them, like if I knew your birth date, which most people's is on Facebook, I input that into, the, into, into Maxim, it mark it as a birth date. Then it'll tell me the day of the month you were born, the month you were born, the spelling of the month you were born, and the year that you were born. And it'll work out every variable of how you can get to that with, with, with counting. So it'll, maybe I'll count to the day, maybe I'll count to the month. Maybe if you add them all together, that you know that it'll work out that total. It'll also work out your star signs. So you can spell to their star sign, which gives you another four outs. 
So just by knowing someone's name and date of birth, you put that into the app super quickly and suddenly almost, almost you know, this is just from two, but almost the, the chances of them naming any card and shuffling the deck and having it out for their really personal information is a really, really high percentage. So when you think, imagine you go up to someone, they think you haven't got their information or it's even a friend. Cause even if, even the people that know you are going to be messed up by this, they name any card, they shuffle the deck and you say, Oh, by the way, Craig, what, what, what day of the month were you born on? 12th. 12th. 12th of April. I don't know. And then, yeah. uh, and then they say, I say, look, you were, what, what were the day of the month? 12th. Deal down 12 cards from the face of the deck. And then the card that they name is in the shuffle deck from, on their birthday. That's not, that's not an a can. That's like a puzzle. Cause I found out after years, I, I realized that when I did the, I, I told this story on, on the download that I, I went to a bar and I seen some friends, a boy and a girl married husband and wife. And they love magic. So they said, can you show us something? And I had a deck in New Monica. And I said, name a card. She said, Queen of Hearts. He said, Ace of Spades. True story. I said, uh, you, can you name the guy, name a number between one and 10, but not three. He said seven, which is the Ace of Spades position. And I said to her, you name another one, maybe not quite as big. And she said, uh, five. Uh, she said, yeah, she said four or five, whatever, to be the Queen of Hearts at 11, which is four, sorry. But it was the most perfect double A can ever right i'll never forget it Porth call marine bar right by the side of the front door performed it i was blown away they were like cool and they love magic then after like five six minutes talking and hanging out later on i did a, a sandwich effect for them and they've seen me do a lot of magic right i seen them then a, a few weeks later they only remembered the sandwich trick that was amazing to them after all my life of performing i got a double perfect a can on this couple that loves magic and I didn't even care about it. And suddenly, and then at those moments, it makes me realize, okay, if I had done it with their wedding date, cause I know that I know them, right? If I, if I said, oh, new name a card, what, what was the date? What, what, what was your wedding date? Spell down to that. I don't think they'd ever remember any trick I'd ever done before it, you know? Yeah. And that's the thing you could put in wedding engagement dates. So if you're doing weddings and you know the bride and groom are there, put in their engagement date, put in their, you know, if they've got kids, put in their birthdays, anything you can find off Facebook, anything that's rel relevant, put it all in. The chances of you hitting that, I, we call that a dynamic out because, you know, it's, it's information. Um, it's, you know, it's huge. And, and if it doesn't hit, you have all the other outs anyway. <laughs> it's still the same effect. Um, and so, yeah, suddenly you realize the power of Maxim when it suddenly starts to not just break away from the old methods of just having an out for every card in position, but but the shuffling element that they shuffle it or shuffle it, the 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 the, the multiple options, the instant calculations, and then when you go to these really unique profiles, you you it's just a different beast. It's not it's it's yeah. it's the type of magic which is is possible. But you've got to be a very, 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 very rare breed of human thinker type of intelligence to get close to it. Whereas this just yeah. does it all for you, allowing you just to give the best performance of your life. That's you know? amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> I think so, but I'm biased. I can see how proud you are of it. It's amazing. Yeah. One last question, because I know you've got to go and I've got to go. One last question. What? So what are we coming up with? You've had three tricks come out. They've all killed. They've all been bestsellers. What's coming up next? <laughs> I know you can't tell us much, but have you got other tricks coming out in the coming weeks? Yeah, months? two more things that I can think of straight away, but one of them is, is going to be out pretty quickly, I think. And it's not, it's, this one is not going to be, I'm not expecting this to be like a thing, something that sets the community on fire in any way, shape or form, but I've always loved the dynamic coin tricks, you know, the brass bottle caps where you, with, yeah. a stack, with a stack of coins. And it just never made sense to me that, that it was never done it was always done with objects that look like they want to, that they don't look like you look at them, you go, what are they? And I always, I always, I always thought, why don't you just use Coca-Cola bottle caps or just bottle caps of a drink? Mm -hmm. So I, I, I designed, made that manufactured that you're in the video, you're Craig, actually you perform dynamic coins and Craig really kindly is in the trailer and, and has 11 routines, of course, do indeed. I two do hours indeed. of explanations with um, something we call pro caps. So yeah, I don't think magicians are going to go crazy for it like they have my other things. I just think it's a solid project and hopefully stands up against dynamic coins in a way because it feels like it, this is the way it should have been done. 
but it should yeah. at least be done. And no, there's no knock in dynamic coins whatsoever. I just feel like it's 2022. And this is the way that I, I, I'd personally like to do it. So that's coming out. And then I have decks with me, myself and Javier Fuenmayor, which is our uh, my um, the world's fastest single pocket uh, index, which is, I'm afraid of that coming out. I'm like, that one, I, I know there's going to be huge uh, hype behind it, entirely not from me. I put out a video with it. You put it in the, you, you showed a performance of it in the quantum deck explanation. Christine Grace put it in a video. It's I incredible. use it. Thanks, man. I, I use it in some videos. I've been very open about what it is. I obviously haven't exposed the full method because it kind of, that's what we're selling is our system. Um, but it's the one thing that every single day, already last night, another three emails, every single day, multiple messages and emails about people getting decks and when's it coming out. So already I'm fearful of like, the hype that that's going to bring because I just know that it became a monster with Lux and Cognito um, to the point where there were certain people that hated the hype so much they hated the product without owning it, having it or anything. So I feel like I don't know what I can do to alleviate that. There's, I, I've, I'm just trying to do products more openly now by showing people well in advance, hey, this is what it is. So it's a double-edged sword. So I've got Pro Caps coming out and then Dex and some secret projects, some with you, which are wicked, uh, actually potential for product of the year, but I know that's biased, but some of them really are. Uh, yeah, that's it, man. I try not to, I don't know, I'm, I'm really chilled with my product releases these days. And it's no one pressuring me to release, you know, 12 projects a year. This is my third project in two years, if that. And if anything, that's made you more creative. And we can see that from the output on your YouTube channel. Like every single week you're putting stuff <laughs> out that's just changing the game. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's changing the game at all, but it's, I, I'm, a, I'm a scatterbrain. I have like a, a thousand ideas, not all good. And before I used to be pressured into releasing every idea that I had and, and the quality would suffer, but I use my channel. I didn't have my art for myself. So like I lost that like, Magic and just, I was forced to treat everything that any output I had creatively, it was forced to be a business decision or business related. Um, and I want to give back to the community. So my, my YouTube channel exists for me to A, have a sketch pad for ideas. So I can put ideas out there that are my ideas. I make sure they're researched and they're credited properly, uh, but they're my ideas. Uh, but they don't have to be fully finished. I can just say, say look, this is, what I'm, this is what's in my head. I got to get it out of my head. I got to put it there because I'm a scatterbrain. I'm, I think I'm like you, just too many things going on. Not all the ideas are great, but some some people will take them and make them gold. Um, and also, it's giving back because I don't like. I need to do magic as like mental therapy for me. It, it, that that's my hobby, and for so many years, it was forced upon me to not be my hobby. That to have my channel, which is not about money, it's not about business, it's just about like sharing my ideas and allow me to combine my two favorite things, video and, and creativity, magic creations. Um, it's, yeah, it feels like it's, it, it works in, in a way which helps me feel better. It helps me be more creative. And then when I have the good stuff, which I, which, you know, the stuff which can't just be a download, um, like physical products or apps, then, then you know, or you can trust that it's going to be good because it's not on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's been an incredible interview. Congratulations on the ongoing success with Maxim. And uh, I'll put links down below to the YouTube channel. I'll put links down below to uh, where to get Maxim from and everything else. But dude, Thank you so much, dude. just continue to be you because you are just so good at this. Right back at you, man. You are the king of the magic world, creator of the year 2021, Craig Petty. And everyone drop some likes on Craig's video to show him some love for this, please. Thank you very much. Dude, thank you for everything you do for the magic community. I've just got to say it back to you because you have become a force to be reckoned with and the probably the most positive influence on the magic community that I've seen in a very, very long time. And I know that you get a minuscule amount of haters, but those haters are dickheads. So keep doing yeah. what you're doing. Thank you so much, Lloyd. Guys, leave a comment down below for Lloyd. I'm going to take this back into the studio and give it a full review. But one more time, my friend, thank you so much.
Thank you so much to you too, dude. So there you go, guys. That is an interview with Lloyd Barnes. And first of all, I want to say thank you to Lloyd for jumping on the channel and actually doing that interview with me. Uh, Lloyd, I really, really appreciate it, my friend. Um, anyway, let's have a look at, uh, at, at Maxim and let's talk about what I actually think about it. Now, for those of you that don't know, Maxim is an app that lives on your phone. It was created by Lloyd Barnes, produced by Murphy's Magic and coded or, or, or programmed by Joshua Riley. And what it allows you to do is it's, it allows you to take any stacked deck and basically give you a whole bunch of outs um, so that whatever card somebody's names, whatever card they name, you immediately can tell them where that card is in the deck. So in its basic form, you can give someone a pack of cards, you can tell them to cut the deck a few times, put the deck on top of the table, or hold on to it, and then you can tell them immediately where that card is. Because what Maxim allows you to do is it allows you to input the card they're thinking of, and then once you've inputted the card they're thinking of, it allows you to input the card on the face or on the top of the deck, and that will then tell you where the card is in the deck from the face and from the top. Now, if that was it, that would still be a good app, but that's really just a very basic bare bones of Maxim. What makes it really good? There's a couple of things that makes it really good, and the first thing is the input methods. And as Lloyd went through in the interview, so I'm not going to really dwell on these too much, the input methods are genius. There's no swipe method. There's no input method with the, uh, with, with the unlock code or anything like that. You input what you need when you get a text message or my personal favorite way of doing it is using the timer. So in other words, you use the timer. So when you start the timer, you're inputting the card they think of. And when you stop the timer, you're, you're inputting the card that uh, is on the face of the deck. And then when you do that and the, the phone apparently opens, um, they see the timer. But if you hold down with your thumb, that's going to tell you all of your outs. And you have multiple outs. So you have uh, normal outs. So every single card in every single position is covered. So it, and, and, and it'll take information based on what time it is, based on what the day is today, a whole bunch of different stuff. But then the dynamic outs, which are really clever, what the dynamic outs allow you to do is they allow you to um, input personal information about somebody. So, for example, if you're doing a wedding gig, you can put down a stack of information about the bride and groom. And you can put down information about who they are, their birth date, their anniversary date, whatever, all that information. If you're doing a private party, you can do the same thing with the person whose birth date is. If you're doing a, um, uh, a corporate event, you could do the CEO, whatever it is. You can put down all of this information and you can build up profiles within the app of everybody. So anytime you want to actually do Maxim and you want to do it on a particular person, as long as you've got a profile built up for that person, you can launch Maxim based on that profile. So then it will take, in, it'll take that profile into consideration when it's working out what the outs are. Uh, and Lloyd described it best on the interview. He said, imagine if we take the best magician at jazzing in the world. If you don't know what jazzing is, it's basically just making it up as you go. And the best mathematician's brain and you combine them together. That's what we've got. Now, I've, I've read a couple of comments on the cafe of people saying, oh, it's really nice, but I could maybe do this myself. Uh, I wouldn't, you know, I'm a Memdeck user for years. Well, I've been a Memdeck user for a long time. And the math required to do the sort of stuff that Maxim is allowing you to do it's not something that you could do relatively easily unless you've been working with your mem deck for literally decades and you've got full mastery of everything and you know instantly where it is and you're a good mathematician. Um, I've never really got along very well with Assy Wins any card at any number purely because the maths that's required to do it, I've always struggled with, right? But with this, it takes all that away. And not only does it take all that away, it gives you a range of outs. So you can do whichever out that you want to. You don't have to use a, um, you can use any out that you want to is the point I'm trying to make. So it'll give you a list of outs and you pick whichever one that you think is best. And some of the outs will be from the top of the deck. Some of the outs will be from the face of the deck. So with that in mind, I want to show you a performance that I did to Matt. Now, Matt, um, uh, I built a profile for him and um, the profile allowed me to get a hit on a couple of dynamic outs, which is absolutely brilliant because that's really what you're wanting to achieve, right? That's really what you're wanting to do. 
So I've, I've got uh, some footage to play you right now. It's of my performance to Matt. So let's have a look at that right now so you can see uh, Maxim actually being used in a real gigging situation. Uh, I'm going to show Matt, all, uh, not looks, not looks, uh, Maxim by Lloyd Barnes. Lloyd's new trick. Lloyd's new trick. Sick. I know you really liked uh, Lux, didn't you? It's like still one of my favourite things I've ever seen. Well, this, I think you're going to really love this card trick. Okay. Uses a pack of playing cards. Right. So we're going to give these cards a bit of a cut. With fries on them. <laughs> Sorry, yes. Um, so basically, I was leaving the house this morning. Uh, I was running late. I went up to Ryland's bedroom and I nicked one of his packs of cards. And this is what Ryland uses when he goes to gigs. Uh, he's got fast food cards, Lego cards, alien cards, spaceship cards. It's so then I, it's not anything to do with the trick? No, I just need to grab a different card. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Honestly, that kid is every card producer's <laughs> wet dream, really. Anyway, um, what I want you to do is 52 cards in the deck. I took the jokers out of here. Okay. Uh, name a card. Out loud? Yeah, share with a group. Uh, eight diamonds. You sure? Okay. You can take these cards and put them under the table. Hold them underneath the table. Okay. Hold. Yeah. And we're going to randomise things. So not until I say go, but when I say go, you're going to give the cards a cut. Uh, just a single straight cut. Then you're going to give them another cut. You're going to give them another cut. You're going to give them another cut. You're basically mixing them up. You're shuffling them underneath the table. You're just giving them cuts and cuts and cuts and cuts and cuts. Because every single time you do that, it'll change the position of the cards. And you're going to do it until the timer says stop. So I'm going to start this timer. Are you ready? Start cutting, yeah, cut a few times. Cut and cut and cut. Now here's the thing, every single time you cut, it changes the position of every single card in the deck. That's why I'm getting you to cut, because that will change the position of every single card in the deck. If you do a shuffle, that might not be the case. But we cut, stop, bring it back. What was, uh, by the way, look at the bottom card, is that your card? Seriously, eight of diamonds, is that the one? No. Would have been good. <laughs> uh, I'm not that good, that would have been amazing. Um, <laughs> I'm not that good. But here's the thing, I don't want to touch the cards. Okay. You can touch them. Think about this for a minute. You named the card, right? Yeah. And then after you named the card, I haven't touched the deck. No. You then cut the cards, which you agree changes the positions of every single card in the deck. Every time you cut, it changes the positions. Yeah. Yeah? Here's the thing. I'm performing this for you, Matt. Your name is Matt. It is. It is Matt, isn't it? it always has been. What I want you to do is use the cards to spell the name Matt. One, one card for each letter. But keep the last one face down. So go M, turn your face up. That's face M, up. M, A, A T, T, T. Stop. That would be the last T because your name is Matt. M A T T. Right? And you said any card, you said the Eight of Diamonds. And you cut under the table and I didn't even touch the cards. There's no fucking way, dude. Turn it on. <gasps> That ain't, that's not possible. How the? No. Yes. Isn't that amazing? So you can see the reaction from Matt. You can see how strong this trick actually was. Like Matt absolutely went crazy for what you're seeing here. And, and Matt's seen a lot of magic. Now I'm going to be doing a Matt test on Maxim at some point in the next week or two. So you can see more of it you know i actually shot at the same time as i shot that i shot a full mat test that landed lasted for about half an hour uh, and i did maximum in him a couple of times so i'm going to uh, chop that footage onto the channel in a bit but suffice to say this is a review suffice to say it blew Matt away and that was no surprise and the reason it was no surprise is because it's been blowing away my audiences uh, probably for about six months now so Maxim is incredible. It allows you to do it, but it's a tool. And that's what I want you guys to understand. It is a trick, but it's also a tool. Um, now, like I say, you don't, you can use any stack in this, by the way, because it allows you to build your own stack. So whatever stack that you want to use, that's absolutely fine. You don't have to use Tamarix like I do. You can use absolutely anything. Um, when I put out my, uh, my project forecast, which I love, I'm really proud of forecast, I put a routine in there that I've been doing for a long time where I have a second deck of cards and each one of those cards has got a different out on it. It's got a different revelation. And I have them name a card and then I bring out these cards and I show that each one's got a different thing on it and I have them pick one of those cards and then when we go back to the deck, um, whatever card they've named, you know, they use that out and it's there. I'm going to stop doing that now. <laughs> Because why would I when I can do exactly the same thing with Maxim but not need to carry a second deck of cards around with me? 
I still love that trick, but I can, you know, I can do the same thing with Maxim. So Maxim is incredible. I highly, highly recommend it. I really do. It's such a strong trick. And um, it's, it's something that I think that uh, will hopefully encourage more people to get into Memdex as well. Because that's the other thing that's not really being promoted about this. You're using a stack, but you don't need to know the stack. You don't need to know the order of it at all. You don't need to have any memory work whatsoever. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to do carry a Memdex around with you and do an absolutely incredible trick that you can repeat over and over again. And that's one of the things about this. You can repeat it over and over again and it gets stronger each time. But also... Um, you know, if you're if you're learning a mem deck or you're learning, you know, different mem deck routines and you're trying to get that down, this allows you to go out into the real world and, and perform with a mem deck. But if things go wrong and you're a little bit worried that you, you, you might not remember the stack, you can switch to maximum, do this, and you've got an incredible trick that you can do with the deck that you're carrying around with you. So, yeah, I mean, ultimately, at the end of the day, I recommend it. I am uh, very good friends with Lloyd, but I think that this trick is absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm, I've been using it. I'm going to carry on using it. I'm giving it a hundred percent. It's really strong. It's highly recommended. Now it's available for more good magic dealers. So you can go and get it right now. And because it's an app, it instantly goes onto your phone. So there you go. That is today's review show special with uh, Lloyd Barnes and his new trick, Maxim. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you once again for joining me right here on Magic TV. If you haven't already done so, please go check out The Net Tricks. It's www.thenettricks.com. That's www.thenettricks.com. Try it out and see what you think. I'm very happy with how that platform's going. <coughs> and I'll tell you right now, tomorrow... Uh, is the upload day every two weeks we upload another five tricks we've got five tricks going up tomorrow and uh we're varying up the uh the range of tricks one thing that people have said to us this is a lot of card tricks there's a lot of coin tricks can you start uploading other stuff so i'm, I'm uploading my ring and rope routine that i use in my cabaret show every single time i go and gig i'm using i'm uploading my own personal sponge ball routine called my signature sponge ball routine uh, I'm uploading um, uh, my egg bag routine that I do in every single gig. If you don't do egg bags, you really should. It's absolutely killer. As well as my all backs routine that I actually used uh, in several competitions when I was a lot younger, uh, which is like the best way to open a card set, in my opinion. And uh, a lot of people have been asking, ever since I've been posting videos of it on Magic TV, a lot of being, people have been asking me to teach my handling of copper silver brass so that's going up there as well so if you've got a copper silver brass set and you're a netrix user this is exactly how i use it so there's a lot going on on netrix other than that i'll be back on magic tv again tomorrow thank you very much for watching my name's craig from magic tv mm -hmm.